Hello, this is Jonathan of Eco Cars, and we now have an Eco Van. It's the Renault Kangoo ZE Zero Emission Electric Vehicle. Um, it's come direct from the lease company that we now do some work for. That's Fleet Drive Electric. And it's just a short video tour to show you the features of these great vans that we can supply, new or used. And uh, if you live in London, or even if you live on a hill, or you've got a situation where you're not doing huge mileages, town deliveries, then these are fantastic. We'll save you a fortune. I'll talk about more, more about that later. As you can see, it's ply lined, also lined in the sides as well, so it's very neat and tidy. We've got tinted uh, rear windows with a heating element, and a rear wash wipe as well. And uh, the side door, very useful. And here's a charging cable, so that's a Type 1 to Type 2 cable. It will charge it 16 amps. And this is the standard cable that comes from Renault, the same as the Nissan and the Mitsubishi charger. And that's a standard uh, three pin plug which charges at 10 amps. Nice cage arrangement which folds forwards, front seat drops down. All the usual versatile features of a modern van. Two seats, automatic. Nice clean uh, rubber matting all throughout the vehicle. Electric windows as well. So I'll just show you some more. We still have, <laughs> fully enough, a little place to fill it with fuel, but it's a blank, so obviously it's pure 100% electric. This van, and uh, showing 9,000 miles, drives absolutely spot on, and it's just been serviced by Renault as well. And I'll just show you some more features. So inside the van uh, we've got uh, two keys, both with remote central locking. So we pop the key in the ignition, put your foot on the brake, and turn the keys if you start in a normal van. Wait for the go symbol to stop flashing, and there we are, it is running. Not like your normal diesel van, it's absolutely silent, but the van I assure you is running. I'll just select D for drive, which comes up on the dashboard, take your foot off the uh, brake, release handbrake. There we go. But I'll do a short test drive in a moment, so just to show you that the vehicle is actually running. We've got a menu on the end of the stalk, I'll just skip through. We've got all sorts of indications, kilowatt hours, trip, time. There we go, 9,215 miles and lots of other features, which I can explain to you uh, when you come to see the van or whether you ring to inquire about it. Normal heating controls, we have air conditioning on this particular one, heated rear screen, nice single shot CD player, which can also be controlled from the steering wheel as well. So it's all the normal Renault van features. I can unlock the doors, has the warning lights, and just a simple automatic gear stick arrangement, which operates as per here, drive, neutral, reverse, and park. Simple to use, nice, uh, nicely designed handbrake, little power point there for your sat nav, lots of little storage and cubby holes. And like I said, this bottom seat also comes up and the front seat drops flat, so you've got a larger load area from the back of the van. I think we've got uh, yeah, height adjustable seat belts, and we have a driver's airbag, also a little glove box here. We're still waiting for the manuals, and the V5 is with the vehicle as well but uh, they will follow. So before I walk you around this uh, Kango, I'll just take you now for a short test. So welcome to the test drive. So the car, the van is actually running. Slip the lever down to D for drive, release the handbrake, squeeze the throttle. I bet you've never heard a van like that before. No diesel rattle, lovely and smooth and very responsive. A bit of booming noise from the back as you'd expect from a large box-like vehicle. And it's quite nicely sprung as well, it's not wallowy, it uh, sits very well on the road and a lovely upright driving position and view. So we come off the throttle, now we have on all electric vehicles regenerative braking and the Kangoo ZE van has it in absolute shed loads. 
which makes for a very different driving style. What do I mean? Well, being an automatic, we have got a throttle and a brake. Now, because it's got such heavy regen braking, which means when you come off the throttle, the electric motor turns into a dynamo, for want of a better word, that will put power back into your battery. And Renault have designed it such that because they expect this to be carrying a lot of weight, they've set it up so that there is more regenerative braking than a normal electric car, which in effect means when you come off the throttle it is a little bit like applying the brake. So I'm doing 30 miles an hour now, got no one behind me, I'm just going to come off the throttle. So I'm going to pretend I'm going to stop at the junction. I'm off the throttle, 20, 15, 10, and I would have come to a stop. Now that is without applying the brake, which means you're increasing the range with this regenerative braking feature. Now obviously if you had weight in the back, you probably would have to apply the, the, the brake a little bit. But uh, empty, the regen is absolutely brilliant on this van. And why is it good? Well, when you apply the brake pedal, you put heat, obviously resistance, into the disc brakes, and that heat is basically wasted energy. So why not try and harvest that energy? with regenerative braking, which is what you have on this van. Which I think is rather brilliant, really like it. So, it picks up very quickly. Driving this, you really can be a proper white van man and speed away from those traffic lights and there's not an awful lot that will touch you, other than another electric vehicle. The torque is quite phenomenal on these. So, I'm just going to let this motorcyclist overtake me. And I can do some more describing. So, it drives fine, it doesn't pull to the left or the right. And uh, it all has a distance to length indication on the dashboard as well, as well as a needle. So, you will never run out of electric. It would be pretty silly to run out. We've got a needle here which indicates the kilowatts you're pulling. Now obviously when the needle goes over to the red you're pulling a lot of energy. But I'm on a downward hill now, slight gradient down. I'm actually putting the electricity back into the battery through this regen braking. I'm controlling the speed with my throttle foot, with the accelerator. Since I started this video I haven't touched the brake. It's uh, <laughs> It's a great way of driving. Drive on one pedal. That is the future. Now I'm just going to come up to this hairpin, well, double hairpin bend to the left and the right. Normal, normal cars, I'll brake here. I'm not braking. I'm just coming off the throttle. I'm just going to squeeze the throttle a bit more. I'm coming off the throttle again for this bend. It's like just squeezing the brake. It is great. And press the throttle hard and up we go. 45, 50 miles an hour, no problem at all. So, like I said earlier, short deliveries, London based, town deliveries, florist, bakers, even an electrician. Say an electrician's got a job 50 miles away and he's going to be there eight hours. Take your cable take an extension lead and you can be charging up whilst you're on site for eight hours and then drive home. So I'm going to pull over, I've not touched the brake, I still haven't touched the brake, I haven't touched the brake, I have not touched the brake and we've come to a stop. So that's how great this van is. So anyway, thank you for that, uh, for following me on the test drive. I'll take you now for a final walk around this great little van. So welcome back from the test drive. The windscreen is chip free and uh, the car, the van rather, it's got the odd tiny marks, a little chip to the plastic wheel trim, lots of tread on the Michelin, let's say there's a good five millimetres on there. Um, it has been clean but it's been a dirty road this morning. Uh, that side is fine. The rear Michelin tyre again, ooh, I'd say 
six seven millimeters rear wheel trim slightly scuffed no dents to the back bumper there's a tiny minor little dent there a little dent there but again your uh, local dent repairman could easily pull them out but i'm being super critical rear tire six seven millimeters another michelin and again wheel trims are just a little bit scratched this side is fine and the near side front as per most vehicles gets scuffed and again the front tire i'd say it's good four five millimeters it needs a little bit of TLC, a little bit of polish, you'll take these scuffs out. It will be taxed. The tax is actually nil for this commercial vehicle. And how do we charge this vehicle? In the front here, we have the standard J1772 connection, which will charge it to 10 or 16 amps. So, great vehicle. The roof is fine too. You can also fit some roof bars. Congestion charge free. We can uh, offer you leasing terms on these for London. Road tax free. All commercial vehicles are £220 if it's petrol, gas, LPG, diesel. But not with an electric van. There's no road tax on these. And peanuts to run. Run about 2p a mile. So, thank you for watching. I look forward to speaking to you soon.